This is the pinnacle of a showdown between alchemists. The old man pulls out the spinning flywheel. Then the incarnation top scratched the boy's leg, just when he was alone and thought he had one. The boy chased into the water, successfully killed him. The camera turns, our hero Ed and robot brother Ol, busy catching the train. They're going to find the Philosopher's Stone. Only the Philosopher's Stone can restore all to his human form. As soon as I got on the bus, I met the Ching people Lin, and his goal is also the Philosopher's Stone. The two sides started fighting directly without speculation. During the fight, the Qing people directly pulled the grenade, with an explosion that didn't hurt Ed at all. Ed jumps to the roof. He almost got blown out of his car by a grenade during the re-engagement. Fortunately, the artificial human in Wei appeared in time, and the reason he saved Ed. I just want him to die by my own hands. At this time, the Qing people caught up. Their ability to immortality against artificial humans has great interest. During the fight, both sides fell off the train and disappeared. When the Ed brothers successfully reached the center, but learned it, a dozen national alchemists across the country were killed one after another, and the only intelligence, just the scar on the killer's face. For safety's sake, the army decided to send someone to protect Ed. As a result, as soon as I went out, I bumped into the scar. Enemies are jealous when they meet. He started fighting without saying a word. Scar is indeed a master, who has killed a dozen alchemists. A few moves disintegrated Ol's robotic arm. Ed was also beaten powerless to fight back. He was about to die at the hands of the Scars. Fortunately, reinforcements arrived in time. Howen shows 8-pack ABS. Scar is no match for everyone. Here comes a trick of Earth escape. Burrow into the ground and disappear. The country went to war against the Shavars and send alchemists to the battlefield. And that's the Scar, survivors of the war. He witnessed his loved ones being killed by alchemists. Revenge became his only goal. Alchemist Ed in his battle with Scar, he disabled the robotic arm, can help Ed restore his arm. Only when Lee, after arriving at the studio, warmly happily welcomes Ed. Of course, seeing how badly he was injured, naturally, they complain. Ed also paid homage to his mother. He ran into his father there. He learned of the ruins of Xerxes from his father. Ed, determined to find the truth, sets off immediately. There he met many survivors of Ishwar. From the survivors, when Lee's parents also died at the hands of Scars, a vengeful Ed returns to Central City immediately. Come Come back and meet the Qing people again. The two sides decided to cooperate to achieve their respective goals. Soon there were rumors in the city. There's an alchemist who can fix anything. The scars that have been hiding in the suburbs heard this, rushed over right away. In fact, this is Ed's plan to lure the enemy. As soon as the two sides meet, they each cast spells. When Lee, who came over, happened to meet Ed and fight with Scar, she also learned from Ed that the enemy was right in front of her. He wants to shoot the Scar away. It's just that the doctor can't hold a murder gun in his hand. In the end, she couldn't do it either. This fat man is going to eat the scarred man in front of him. However, he did not succeed. Suddenly Lin flew out of the well. He directly fed the grenade to the fat man in the next second. Fat man, as a cyborg, is not so easy to die. When Ed saw this, he immediately turned steel bars with rails, tie up the fat man tightly, then he loaded it into the car and left. Leave brother Ed to clean up the scars. At this moment, Lin's subordinates appeared. A smoke bomb successfully saved the scar. By chance, Al found out that his men were out in the woods. He found the hiding place of the scar. Don't say a word, just start fighting. The wounded Scar at this point is no match for Ed. Helpless. He can only release the ultimate Earth escape move. In one fell swoop, the whole building went underground. Then when Lee appeared, Scar a mind wandering. This allows Ol to seize the opportunity to bring it under control. But the kind when Lee did not take revenge, he chose to forgive and carefully bandaged the wound. Scar's conscience is touched, remembering the teachings of my master and the kindness of my brother. He sincerely confessed to Wen Lee. At this time, when Lee's hatred has also been relieved. But it's not over yet. The fat man appeared. Coming up is a shockwave. Then he went straight to Wenli. Fortunately, Scar stepped forward to block the fat man, saved Wenli, Roy and others. With the arrival of Envy, a melee is playing out again. At this time, the fat man has already killed Red Eyes. Regardless of friend or foe, 
he directly sucked everyone into his stomach together. When Ed wakes up, found in a sea of blood, Lin and Inwei are still alive, but they just can't find a way out. Inwei told the two in disappointment. The fat man is the door to truth created by his father, but there's no portal. Being sucked in can only wait to die. Ed didn't believe him, and he got into a fight with Envy. Violent Envy also transforms into an ugly behemoth. How should Ed and others respond? Can he still escape the fat man's belly alive? We can only wait for the next one to be revealed.